All right, so boys, welcome back to another video. Team of the year preparation. Once again, guys, I want to cover fodder, different investments, low budget, medium budget, high budget. What should you be doing with your informs? And of course, some future high risk investments like Mia Ham, Ronaldo Winter Wild Cards, etc. Those kind of cards, I do think they can rise really, really nicely. Drop a like, do subscribe. You do help my channel grow. And let's get in the video. All right, so boys, I want to show you some of the cards that have been making me at least 50 to 100,000 coins a day, every single day, passive coins, and of course, some really, really safe investments. Now, the first card in the background, you can see Lamptey, I said, 27,000 coins, very, very low risk, 27,750. That is his minimum price. I said, again, pick up a few one to five cards, it's low risk. And of course, if he rises, again, he's going to rise really, really nice. And you can see Lamptey is already 33 thousand coins basically up nearly six thousand coins very nice and low risk investment right there next up nice and quick flip we did do yesterday with icons going out of packs i said burkamp on console around 128,000 coins he's pushing close to 145,000 coins right there next up we do have kavara of course very nice leak we did get early i said 8,000 coins, this card should rise in the hype before content. And of course, you can see he ended up going to 9.7k before content. Again, we took the safe coins and the guaranteed profit. Next up, we do have, of course, Foden in form. One of my traders in the Discord called Lucky Foot. Sometimes he gets really, really early leaks. And of course, sometimes we do benefit. Reason being, he posts the card that will be in the Evo and we sell in the hype with guaranteed coins. And you can see he said Foden in form 47,000 coins on console, 45 on PC. And this card basically went all the way to 90,000 coins today. Again, before content, as I think it was Foot Police leaked this card on Twitter. And of course, we invested in him basically yesterday. So again, around 35,000 coins profit per card on Foden. Next up, Rodrigo, the exact same. He told us to buy Rodrigo for 7.5K yesterday. Right now, you can see in the background, Rodrigo is basically max price at 10,000 coins. And of course, guys, we did suggest informs around six hours before content. Of course, you can see in the background, Lucky made a post in the investments channel saying the following thing. Looks like a small casino spc with an inform requirement should be coming out today and of course we did get an 84 times 5 with a team of the week requirement today so again he said to buy on console around 33 pc around 32,000 coins and of course informs are pushing 37,000 coins when i'm recording this video guys it's very simple instead of buying a pack in the store try my discord out for one month it's 10 pound a month if you're not happy with the service of course guys you can cancel your subscription at any single time give it a go all you have to do is literally copy and paste what i buy and we tell you exactly when to sell let's get back to the video all right so boys i want to cover fodder straight away so if we move up to 83 as you can see they're pushing 1000 coins again content today wasn't anything special we have a gavi spc and of course apart from that a team of the week player pick and i think that was it so again content wasn't that good which again could help fodder drop in price and that is exactly when we should be buying fodder so 83, you can see they're pushing 1k again. They were 1.2 earlier. You basically want these cards at 850 coins. Now, trust me, later tonight they're probably going to drop to like 850, 900 again. Get on open bids. I'm going to show you a mass bidding filter later in the video. Again, 83 is 850. That is the goal. And yes, very low budget, low risk investment. You can put all your coins and they'll probably go 1.3 to 1.5 during team of the year warm up. Now, Moving up to 84, as you can see, they're just not dropping again. These cards were literally 1.4k, I think it was a week ago. I told you boys, spend all your coins, they're going to double in price. And now, 2.3k. So, what I'm hoping with fodder, 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s. So, later on tonight, people, again, finish foot champs, maybe open a little bit of packs. I think EA did drop some store packs, but they did not sell out again out of 100k packs. I think they sold out like 2,000. So, again, people are not interested two open packs before team of the year so with 84s 2.3k very very high i am hoping they drop back down to about 1.5 to 1.6 i think that's pushing it maybe 1.7 1.8 then i will again go all in but anything regarding 84s around 1.8 1.9 2000 coins you can put all your coins if you can snipe maybe get on bids again bids are really really difficult as people are not opening packs and they're saving packs for team of the year so 84s Again, 2,000 coins and under, I think, is a very, very safe price to buy in. Of course, it depends, again, what we get tomorrow for content. If we get like an 84 times 10 in the store, tradable tomorrow, then you're going to see 84s drop in price. But if we don't, if we get like an 84 team with a casino SPC, again, 84s will keep going up in price. So again, 
I don't want to miss the window on 84s, so anything around 1.8, 1.9, even 2k, I do think is fun, but be patient, have a look later tonight, maybe one, two, three hours after this video gets uploaded, and see how much they're worth on the market. All right, so boys, I want to show you some live mass bidding filters. Remember what I said, it will be difficult, a lot of, again, people on the market trying to invest, and again, the prices are being kept up, with, of course, not much supply from the store packs, as people are not opening packs, but... I'm gonna show you boys a few filters you can be using, and again, for, for again for an 83 rated filter, you can have a 5900 and this at 1.9, and this at 10,000 coins. And you're gonna get a bunch of 83s. You can see right here we have Gerald Moreno 83 bid for 900, Ericsson, Danny Elmo. We have another again Moreno. You can see basically boys the list goes on and on and on. Now with this filter, like I said, you want to be aiming as close as possible to. 850 coins now if you can get for 900 again good they're selling for around 1k to 1.1 you can probably flip these 83s really really quickly meaning you buy for 900 on open bid you sell them instantly at 1k 1.2 and of course you take the profit and you clear the items that sell and you go back on the market and you bid on more cards now you can do this with 83s you can see plenty of open bids ericsson a50 hummels a50 open bid and basically go and bid on as many cards as you can and literally just lazy list these cards straight away. If they sell, take the profit and of course rebuy more cards. Now, whenever you boys are watching this video, again, the filters can be changed. Reason being, I am recording this video at 8 p.m. UK time. Again, a few packs are still being opened and again, supply slowly hits the market. But again, if you're watching this video like nine in the morning, again, the filters could not be working as well as you do it one hour to two hours after content. So boys, that is 83s covered. You can put all your coins in 83s a50 zero risk 900 open bids lazy 1.1 1.2 and of course you're going to get a bunch of sales clear the items and go back and rebuy more cards let's cover some different leaks that have been officially leaked on twitter all right so boys if we look at first sheriff on twitter you're going to see first card that pops up is Mafeus coming as a team of the year icon again this card is going to be so expensive i want to talk about if you can potentially buy his again his base version and of course make coins and if we scroll down, we have a Chavi, uh, not SPC, Chavi coming as a team of the year icon as well. So again, this card probably won't be as expensive. So again, keep an eye out for Chavi. Ferdinand, again, probably one of the best, if not the best center back in the game at the moment. So again, this card will be broken. And we have Mafeus, we've covered, Chavi, we've covered. And if we scroll down, I think that is all the icons leaked. Uh, li uh, leaked. If we go to for scoreboard, however, I'm pretty sure these guys have leaked uh, on our icon so if we go to their page you're gonna see if you scroll down where is he right here we have a sour leaked that's assy for trade actually he leaked a uh, sour coming as a team of the year icon and if we scroll down i think there's one more icon let me just have a look quick pretty sure i'm missing someone yeah we have a george best as well coming as a team of the year icon and there was one more if we scroll down where is it unless that is everything Scroll down, 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 down. I think that is it. So, boys, if we go on Twitter, first card I want to cover has to be Sour. Now, this card I had in my team before my account got banned. My main account with like 12, 13 million coins. She was absolutely incredible. One of the best midfielders I ever played with. Once again, she will be getting a team of DA. My, my guess is probably going to be 2 to 3 million coins. That card will probably be maybe even 4 to 5. Again, it depends on supply. It depends how, again, how packable these cards really are. Again, if you're going to buy a Sour for your team, Again, I will be looking at buying cards one to five days from now. Usually the lowest point is around two to three days before the official team of the year officially releases. So if you're looking to buy a sour for your team, again, price wise, I would probably be aiming close to 700k. Again, you still have one to five days to be buying these cards. Another card, Mafeus, this card I do think can rise really nicely if his other versions, again, is very, very expensive. Again, team of the Mafeus is not going to be cheap. Probably a four to six million coin card. You can see Mafeus is 1.4 mil. This card, I would not be surprised if he goes 1.7, 1.8 when team of the year releases and people realize that Mafeus is, in, again, impossible to pack and really, really rare. So again, boys, you have one to five days. I did cover this a few videos ago. Pele, Jorginho, Messi, Ronaldo, those special cards, Mbappe as well, can rise really, really nicely. Now, if you're in a high budget, I want to talk about Mbappe in form or maybe his other version. You can see the team of the group stage, I think uh, this card is. You can see right here, 3.9 million coins. So, boys, you need to understand, Mbappe will most likely get a team of the year. That card is going to be 9 
to 15 million coins. My guess between 9 mil to 11 mil on the market. So officially that card, basically 1% of the FIFA community can probably afford it, probably less. So again, this card should go up in price. People are gonna be like, okay, I don't have 10 mil. Let me go buy his next best version. And of course, this is his next best version. So again, I would not be surprised if this Mbappe goes to like 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, I know it's going to sound crazy, but trust me, it happened last year with Mbappe's inform. The previous year with Neymar inform again, it can happen. But again, the market could react differently every single year. This time is the first time we have two team of the years in packs, females and males. So of course, make sure you boys keep an eye out for that. Mbappe, if you have 10 mil, I do suggest picking one card up. Keep an eye out for again around 3.8. I do think is a good price in general boys again i'm talking about really really high budget if you have six mil five mil three mil four mil ten mil again this is where personally i would be looking now of course i don't have my main account i did get banned i think it was one month ago so far with 13 million coins unfortunately ea again i'm still waiting for a reply if you're watching this someone from ea please can i get a reply regarding my account i'm still banned with over 13 million coins so anyway boys going back to the higher budget so a nice tip you boys can be using so for example of course mbappe is almost guaranteed a card another card has to be hansen now of course i've seen a lot of people have her in the team of the year again nominee i think so again this card will most likely get a team of the year. you can see she is already up ninety thousand coins of course Team of the Hansen, it's not going to be cheap. My, my guess will probably be around three to five million coins. So again, what are people going to do? Go back and buy her other best version. And of course, the Trailblazer one is her best version. So again, like I said, you have one to five days. And how can you pick the right card? So boys, you want to be looking at players that are almost guaranteed to be in Team of the Year. Another card, again, this one is a little bit 50-50. I've seen a few people say Van Dijk will not, be, not get a card. In my opinion, I do think VVD will get a card as EA. Do want to sell more packs so again inform van dyke and the winter wild card is another prime example you can see the winter wild card is around 1.5 mil team with team of the year vvd will probably be around three to four million coins at the start which means again my opinion i do like the info more than the again the winter wild card but again that's just my opinion again i do think this inform can probably go 650 700 with the team of the year being so expensive and basically on unable to pack as you, you boys know the pack way with team of the year another card let's think so we have messi i'm not sure about this card a lot of people said messi's not getting a card so again messi's best uh, best version is the radioactive this card is already 1.2 million coins crazy i said i think it was two videos ago or three again this card at 950 is good he is already 1.2 million coins but exactly the same boys you can see prices are already slowly starting to rise i do think there's going to be another drop and then boom they're going to start to rise again so again with messi you probably don't want to buy 1.2 again around the 1.1 1.05 area should be fine but again boys regarding the investments content is really really dry again fire and ice promo is really really dead nothing really much to do content today wasn't that good so again boys regarding investments i know it's kind of the similar video as yesterday but again there's always again basically the best investments is 83s and 84s you can see 83s slowly coming back down boys i'm going to keep saying it i'm going to keep repeating it every single video 83s 850 spend all your coins it's a zero risk long term investment if you buy them have 183s laser listed between 1.1 to 1.2 on your transfer list if you get sales good take the profit go back on the market and re buy more cards 84s maybe slowly dropping at 2k already so that's good again boys if you're if you're patient you should be able to get 1.7 1.8 1.9 that is the target price i like for 84s yes you can put all your coins into them and of course 85s do not touch these i like under five thousand coins so again if again 5.5 you're basically wanting around 4.8 to 4.9k for 85 rated cards 86s already up a crazy amount these were literally like 6.5k a few days ago so again i would be avoiding 86s unless you can probably pick up around 7.5 which is very very difficult so boys for that you should be focusing on 85s 4.9 to 4.8 84s 1.7 to 2000 coins and 83s 
A50, zero risk, long term investment. Boys, that is the investments I like. Personally, if I had my 13 million coins again, I'll probably buy one to two Mbappes and the rest of my coins will probably go on 84 rated cards. Reason being, again, we should get a team of the year warm up in four days, and that is when we get the daily casino SBCs and EA try to again drain your fodder from your club to buy fever points as team of the year officially starts in about five days days that is everything summed up guys again if you don't want to buy informs around 30k on pc should be fine i did sell my informs between 34.5 to 35k of content so again i took my profit and i sold them if you still have any once again i would not mind holding your informs going into next week with team of the warm ups you're going to see a lot of team of the week requirements guys any questions comment section down below my premium discord down in the comments all you have to do click the link join up and of course you're going to be able to see my investments my personal investments mass bidding filters and of course sometimes we do get early leaks drop a like do subscribe to help my channel grow and i'll see you boys tomorrow with another video